People in Power. Inspiring artists, empowering stories, your favorite films and stars, up close and very personal. With your host, Rada Aboud. Hello, hello everyone. Hello and welcome to our show. This is your host, Rad Aboud. Please call me G and our coolest director, Radia Zahrani. All right, everyone, we're so happy to be with you. I hope you're all driving really, really safely. Please remember your safety is more important than, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to make it there, you just got to drive safely, right? You got to listen to what I say, and I will never tire from telling you and reminding you every day that you have to drive safely, right? So fasten your seat belts. Uh, even if you are sitting on the passenger seat, fasten your seat belt. If, you're, if you are at the back seat, also fasten your seat belt. Even if you are the Hamiltons of the road, make sure that other drivers cannot be as good as you are. And uh, this is Ghad Aboud, always call me G and the director Radi Az-Zahrani. I want you to tune in and tune up the volume because this is the radio show that's not just about talking. It's about sparking your imagination and making you part of the conversation. Exclusive interviews, real world insights, fun facts you never heard about. All right, and we also have, and not all that, because, I mean, I just have it full. We also have, like, VIP guests. I want you to dive into exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with icons and rising stars. Discover the untold stories behind their success, failures, and everything in between. From the game changers who are shaping the world to the hidden gems of reality you won't find elsewhere. Or our show brings you the stories that matters, all uncut and uncovered. And let's not forget the reality check and the reality code. We're going to get it all real and, uh, I mean, raw, right? Think you know the world? Think again. Our show goes deep with surprising facts, behind the scenes truth, and Joe dropping a revelation that will change how you see things forever. This is your host, Qada Aboud. Always call me G and Director Radia Zahrani. We'll go to a break and then come back. Oh, 
Every morning I ride on a carousel To the sides of my mind that I cannot help I fell when the lights went out now My real friends act like they don't know me This headache's giving me a nosebleed My silence is killing me slowly I can't keep drowning it out I've been suffering and making friends with all my sins I need saving, I need saving You won't save me ever again I'm feeling kind of fit and rolling silence from my lips I need saving, I need saving You won't save me ever again Cause I feel my life's been so tongue-tied I'm trapped outside Switched up for show. You ain't lose me in the summer. You lost me at hello. Anytime you see me smiling, it was probably for show. All the memories are blurry, so I let them burn slow. I ain't seen you in a minute. Where did all the time go? You was out of pocket when you told me die slow. I was going through the I kept it down low. Tongue tied, tongue tied. What we had was all lies. People change, people change, people switch up. It's okay, you can save me ever again. People change, people change, people switch up. It's okay, you can save me. Cause I feel my life so tongue tied. I'm trapped outside inside my mind. Inside my mind. Hit me now. 
Tune in to SRFM. This is Ghad Aboud. Always call me G and Director Radhi Zahrani. All right, everyone. So happy to be back with you. Just tell me, how are the roads? How's the traffic, everyone? I know, I know. You just like, but I'm here with you. Director Adil Zahrani is here with you. We're here to keep you happy. We're here to keep you entertained. We're here to surprise you, like, and really elevate your social skills. Because we're going to give you uh, some amazing information that you can actually talk about instead of asking people uh, about the sh- their salaries or uh, when are they going to have their second babies or uh, are complaining about how your manager is really uh, putting a lot of pressure on you and not giving you any kind of raise. So I'm giving you topics and I'm giving you things to talk about like really fun and this will really help your social skills. You're welcome. Yeah, you, you have to thank me. <laughs> it's okay. You want to? That's very nice. So I want you just to be uh, feeling all well and great and remember to drive safely. This is Ghada Aboud. Always call me G and Director Radhi Azharani on SRFM where the unheard becomes unforgettable. I want you to tune in and turn up the volume because this is the radio show that is not just about talking. It's about sparking your imagination and making you part of the conversation. All right. And here we are on the our uh, my favorite kind of segment, right, which is uh, the reality code. Think you know the world, think again. Our show goes deep with surprising facts behind the scenes, uh, truth, and Joe dropping revelation that will change how you see things. All right. Um, gluten, uh, gluten intolerant people, I have news for you. Are you gluten intolerant? Are you the type of person who whenever are invited to uh, uh, like a dinner or lunch and something, the first thing you say, hey, I'm gluten intolerant. I can't have this bread. I can't do that and don't order that. And are you the one who lecture rest, uh, uh, the waiters uh, uh, at every restaurant about how you're gluten intolerant and how this uh, gluten will really, really give you some sort of uh, 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 um, since, um, uh, kind of, I don't know, it will not make you feel well, right? Well, I don't know. I'm not talking about the ones who have an actual, have been really diagnosed with a celiac disease. Those folks genuinely can't tolerate gluten, right? But other than that, I'm sorry to tell you, one, um, the latest, I mean, researches, I mean, uh, uh, published on the Internet, they said that this is on, only like a placebo and some marketing campaign and that there's nothing wrong with gluten. In fact, you need gluten. All right. And the second thing is no one likes you. Yeah, I'm sorry. No one likes you. You're boring. All right, because you're high maintenance and you like keep disrupting the conversation and you're being over dramatic about it and you actually need it, right? Uh, the gluten to actually lose weight and to make you feel better right and this is just a placebo effect you don't believe me i mean i'm gonna prove it to you uh and i will tell you how right um uh, I mean, we're going to dish out today the hottest food uh, trends and we're going to chew on the facts and sprinkle in little humor. I don't want you to get over super sensitive, but yeah, I was serious about the so your social skills and being really annoying when it comes to like being all doing all the gluten thing and the drama thing you do. Today's episode is all about that trending villain, gluten. Is gluten really your enemy or is this gluten free craze? It's just a diet disaster waiting to happen. Let's go to a break and then come back. We we'll go to a small break. And then come back and we're going to be talking all about the gluten and how to, um, you're dramatic, I'm sorry. I don't feel like myself anymore. My head- 
shake when I say I'm yours Think I want you, but I can't be sure I know where this could go And I know where I've been before Swallow up, bottle up, wall it up, feel like Godzilla, better hit the deck like the cartilla. My whole squad's in here walking around the party, a cross between a zombie, apocalypse, and bibbobby to bring in which is probably the same reason I wrestle with mania, say these in this bitch, I'm posse to consider it to cost me a costly mistake if they sleep in on me to better get insomnia, ADHD, hydroxy cut, that's the capacity. Hey, 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 when a nigga melee finish at it, like a play date, better vacate, retreat, like a vacate, mayday. This beat is cray cray, Ray J, H A, H A, H A. Laughing all the way to the bank, I spray flames, they cannot tame a play cake, the monster. You get in my way, I'ma feed you to the monster. I'm normal during the day, but at night turn to a monster. When the moon shines like Ice World Trucker, I look like a villain that it goes blockbuster. To the fire, spit a monster. Vacation plan. 
She's a cakewalk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a player. I'm too much of a stingy for share. Won't even lend you an ear. Ain't even pretending to care. But I tell it, Mary of Shabaria, face of my ch- area. The original Richard Ramirez, Christian Rivera. Cause my lyrics never sit well, so they wanna give me the chair. It's like a paraplegic and it's scary. Call it Harry Carey. Cause every time I'm digging Harry Carey, I'm Mary. I'm a dictionary. I'm swearing up and down. They can spit this shit hilarious. It's time to put these bitches in the obituary column. We wouldn't see eye with a staring column. Get the shaft like a staring column. Come on. You get happy pack each, but it's black ink. Evil half of the bad beats. Evil that means take a back seat, take it back to fat beats. Put a maxi single look at my rap sheet. What attracts these people is my gangster bitch. Like a patchy with a catchy jiggle. I stack chips. You better got a half eaten Cheeto. Fill him with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I'm in him. I don't want to hurt him, but I did him in a venerate. I'm murdering again. Nobody will have been a fan of Everybody's in the lake. I'm literating. Everything is generated. Renegade him. Mimic anybody who wanted with the pen and frame. Don't nobody want it, but they're going to get it anyway. I'm beginning to feel like I'm mentally ill. I'm a killer. killer. Be killer. Be killer. Be the vanilla gorilla. You're bringing the killer with me out of me. You don't want to be the enemy of the demon who me. I'm being the receiving enemy. What stupidity it'd be? Every bit of me's the epitome of a spitter when I'm in the vicinity. You better duck and you finna be dead the minute you run into me. 100% of you is a fifth of a percent of me. I'm about to fucking finish you. Bitch, I'm available. You want to battle? I'm available. I'm blowing a blade and inflatable. I'm undebatable. I'm unavoidable. I'm unavoidable. I'm on the toilet wall. I got a trailer full of money and I'm paid full. I'm not You're tuning in to people in power. All right, everyone, and we are back with our show. This is your host, Ghad Aboud. Please call me G, where the unheard becomes unforgettable. And Director Radi Az-Zahrani. And today we are talking about the gluten-free intolerance drama, right? And as I told you before, I'm not talking about the people with celiac disease. Those folks are genuinely can't uh, tolerate gluten. So celiac people, we've got nothing but love for you. I'm talking about other people who just decided upon some um, social media thing or, or a video or, or I don't know, some advice that gluten is actually bad for them. Is it really bad for you? All right, first thing first, why do people hate gluten like it's the villain in a superhero movie? This is something I will never understand. It's just a little protein found in wheat, right? And barely, not an evil mastermind plotting to ruin your life, yet somehow gluten has become the food equivalent of a bad guy twirling his mustache in a dark corner i mean there's nothing really wrong with gluten maybe actually it's good for you and let's talk how according to some and latest research gluten free is supposed to be um healthier right wrong you're wrong unless you have um, celiac disease of course as we said we don't you don't need to avoid gluten in fact by saying goodbye to gluten you could be saying hello to some serious health problems studies show gluten-free products are often more processed higher in sugar and lower in fiber yep so that extra reals gluten-free muffin isn't making you healthier or is it making you a hero actually is just making your wallet skinnier I mean why do gluten-free food has to come like really expensive like you didn't have to put a lot of like you know um, work into it or process it it's supposed to be unprocessed right why is it expensive why do you know I don't know it's just I, I think it's just making our wallet only skinnier and skinnier but it's not really helping our health so people again another point that I'm saying so people go gluten free thinking you're cutting carbs right wrong again gluten isn't carb folks it's a protein so when you're avoiding avoiding gluten you're not avoiding carbs you're avoiding good carbs like whole grains which are full of fiber and and nutrients gluten-free diets are often loaded with refined processed junk 
It's like saying I don't want this new, new, and I mean nutritious whole grain bread, but I'll take the gluten-free cookie made with potato starch and sugar. Makes perfect sense. No, no, it just doesn't. All right, I want you to uh, keep tuning in with me, Rad Aboud. Uh, please call me G and uh, direct Rad Zahrani as we take you more into the gluten free uh, kind of uh, uh, diet trend that is going on. We're going to be breaking the facts on it. We already did on when it comes to health, and we have already covered that you are a social, um, you're dramatic. I mean, you're dramatic. I mean, it's you're very high tolerance. You're very high maintenance kind of person, which like really push people around you to have higher tolerance, right? So we're going to be talking more about it. And we're going to be talking about buttons also being Hermes. You know that people used buttons as the equivalent of Hermes, uh, and your and Dolce and Gabbana before people didn't have these kind of brands so buttons were the equivalent substitute of that right we're going to be talking more about this but after the break let's go to a small break and then come back stay tuned with me Rada Aboud always call me G and director Radi Az Zahrani uh, as we bring you the latest and the best
Get ready for the countdown. Three, two, one, zero. SR FM, the heart of KSA. everyone and we are back with Rad Aboud always call me G and director Radi Azharani where the unheard becomes unforgettable and today we're talking about uh, the ultimate uh, villain right the gluten free diet and the gluten being so um, framed as the the villain of every day right of all diets kind of thing of course we're going to have another episode with uh, talking about uh, dairy products being dairy uh, uh, intolerant but first i want to give a shout out to all the parents who pick their kids uh, from schools and drop their kids to school every day you guys are doing great you guys are doing fantastic uh, I send you all my um, compassion and love and encouragement and uh, I mean I, I just want to tell you I know this time seems tough for you um, with the traffic and trying to keep up with work and with your kids but trust me I mean these times are the times where your kids will remember and value the most you're building that bond that will help them build their character. I want to give a shout out also to everyone
someone who is uh, coping with mental health struggles, whether anxiety, depression, uh, ADHD. I know you are doing your best and you're trying your best and I want you to know um, that your best is good enough. Never feel that um, you're less or that your best is not good enough. You are good enough and everything will unfold into the right place. All right, and we are back to talking about our favorite villain for today's episode, which is uh, gluten and all about uh, the gluten-free intolerance uh, diet craze. Uh, all jokes aside, um, some people go gluten-free because they feel better without it. Maybe they experience less bloating. Maybe they think they have a sensitivity. But let me hit you with some real facts. Most of these symptoms are actually placebo effects. Oh, yeah. It's not the gluten. It's the hype. In studies where people didn't know if they were eating gluten or not, guess what? the symptoms were the same so it's all just uh, the high placebo effects to let you know so if you are going uh, like gluten free and don't have medical reason you might be doing more harm than good actually my friends whole grains which have gluten provide important nutrients like fiber iron and vitamin b and by cutting them out you could be missing out on some serious health benefits and don't even get me started on the importance of fiber you know it's very important right and just to wrap up because before we speak about buttons because i love buttons if we don't have today time uh, today we're gonna be speaking about it tomorrow because hey i put effort into that and you have to listen to me and you have to know it was the substitute actually of big brands like hermes dior dolce gabbana zimmerman everything people didn't have it like in um few decades ago but uh, they used to use it as the substitute. You want to look fancy, you want to look good, you put more buttons, right? Uh, all right. Uh, I just want you uh, to remember fun, food that should be fun, not a fear factor challenge. So next time someone tries to convince you to ditch the gluten, grab a nice piece of whole grain bread, smile and say, I'm living my best gluten life. And thank you very much. And eat that pizza. You like that pizza? Just eat that pizza and take it easy on the waiters, on the restaurants. And your friends who are trying to spend some quality time with you uh, when they go out, right? Let's go to a break and then come back. You're listening to Rada Aboud. Always call me G and direct Rada Zahrani where the unheard becomes unforgettable after the break. <laughs>
back with your show right it's your show it's my show it's our show this is Ghada Iboud always call me G and director Radhi Zahrani with unheard becomes unforgettable and now we are uh, um, on uh, our segment fun and facts it's not all serious you know we've packed each episode with fun info nuggets quirky facts and mind blowing uh, tidbits that will leave you saying wow I never knew that and also you know I'm doing you a favor because I want you to elevate your social skills have different conversation instead of like really always complaining about your weight and your uh, uh, salary and your um, un- um, I don't know your boring husband or uh, I don't know your uh, uh, nagging wife or whatever you always we always talk about the same topics right I'm giving you something new to talk about And today we're talking about something much fun, which is buttons. That's right. We're talking about those tiny little circles you take for granted every single day. Yeah, whether it's a humble button on your shirt or those mysterious buttons in the elevator that you secretly love pushing. Don't lie. We all (laughs) do it. Buttons have been around for thousands of years. Yeah, it has like very uh, ancient... um, history actually um, way back in time the very first button were purely decorative imagine that the oldest known button dates back to th- uh, more than 5,000 years and was found in Indus Valley in what we now modern-day Pakistan uh, these buttons were about function and they were all about fashion they were not about function they were about fashion so next time you see a runway model in a shirt with no practical buttons you can say hey they're just taking it back to the bronze age because buttons were never really made actually to do anything they were just purely decorative all right Uh, but buttons didn't really do anything until the 13th uh, century in Europe when someone likely tired of having to lace uh, their clothes like medieval corset every time they wanted to get dressed uh, thought hey why don't we use these things to actually fasten our clothes brilliant right and voila the buttons as we know it was born sewing button easier than laces right because people back then didn't i mean they had the privilege of time we were not in a rush of doing everything really fast and you know they just took their time tying the laces and you know having different colors but i think as things like starting to get faster and faster with our modern times this guy or this woman could be she said well I'm gonna use the buttons I mean the circle has to do something all right and this is how buttons on the 13th uh, century became really uh, functional and it really all changed not only uh, the 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 our modern lifestyle but changed also fashion and everything right Again and more, um, buttons uh, started to get really fancy and fast forward to the 16th century and you will find the ultimate button uh, fan. It was actually King Louis of France. This guy was really in love with buttons. I'm talking about hundreds of buttons on single outfit and no, they were not functional either. They were pure decoration. King Louis had buttons made of gold, silver, diamonds, and even pearls. And some historians say 
He had over 13,000 buttons in his royal wardrobe. Amazing. I love that. I just want to tell you something very important and a very fun fact that will also make you, I mean, those people showing off their Hermes, their Dior, their Dolce & Gabbana, whatever you guys are wearing, I want you to tell them that Ghada Aboud G said, actually, it is a real information. They said back in the day, the number of buttons on your outfit was a sign of wealth and status. So if you're buttoned up head to toe, you're basically flexing on everyone. Maybe King Louis was the original bling influencer. And forget just the watches or chains. It was all about the bottom swag, right? So no bags, no like, you know, the, the LV no LV shoes, loafers, no Bottegas, no any kind of brands. All you had to do was just like pick your fancy button and button yourself and button your clothes and everything will be just fantastic, right? And you will be really fancy. So you don't need to like really uh, save up and like be really feeling intimidated when you're around a circle of people who are always like they have their Bulgari kind of uh, accessories or jewelry or watches or Rolex or anything or bags or Hermes all you have to do is just like wear uh, your buttons just have some nice buttons and tell them I'm keeping it real I'm keeping it original I'm taking you back to where fashion had actually started yes yes tell them Ghada Aboud G always call me G I said that so yeah here we are and um, here we are and um, let's go actually to a small break and then come back If she ain't she got to go yeah. Tell her don't waste my time Police wanna stop me, search my clothes what? Tell them don't waste my time If it ain't money, I ain't involved no. Tell them don't waste my time Waste man waffling down my phone yeah. Tell them don't waste my time No, no, no Tell them don't waste my time yeah. Tell them don't waste my time oh, yeah. Tell them don't waste my time no. Tell them don't waste my time No, no, no Tell them don't waste my time yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. Tell him don't waste my time. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Pray to the Lord. Swan a heart. Can't be my baby mama. Cause I don't need that drama. Unless she Rihanna. Asking me what's on my butt. Versace, Versace, Versace. Love. Been that guy since outside Neutrino. Bound for the bound for the reload. Big as my ego. Man, I'm give her the D on the D lock. She got to go. Yeah. Tell her don't waste my time. Wanna stop me? Search my clothes. What? Tell him don't waste my time. If it ain't money, I ain't involved. No. Tell him don't waste my time. Waste man waffling down my phone. Yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Tell him don't waste my time. Yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. Oh, yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. No. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Tell him don't waste my time. Yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. Waste my time. No. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Pretty girl on my left. My left. Pretty girl on my right. My right. My South side of that rib. That rib. That Tell him don't waste my time. Got boom. Got boom. rolled up in his butt. Screaming out, if they ain't with us, then it's, it's my French. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Hey. Hey. shows, stacking, door. VIP lounge full of ratchet. Yeah. Them boy talking about trapping. Boys probably still jacking phones. <laughs> Roll up in my AJ slippers. Wanna fire hitting first shot, raging. No chase, no chase till I taste straight. Lick, I got my kids in her mouth. That's a play day. Yeah, she got to go. Yeah. Tell her don't waste my time. Wanna stop me? Search my clothes. What? Tell him don't waste my time. If it ain't money, I ain't involved. No. Tell him don't waste my time. Waste man waffling down my phone. Yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Tell him don't waste my time. Yeah, Tell him don't waste my time. Oh, yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. No. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no. Tell him don't waste my time. Yeah, Tell him don't waste my time. Yeah. Tell him don't waste my time. No. Tell him don't waste my time. No, no, no.
right, everyone. It was so real cool and fantastic being with you uh, today. I want to meet you tomorrow, right? So stay tuned in with Ghada Aboud. Always call me G. Dain, Director Radi Az Zahrani, where the unheard becomes unforgettable only with Ghada Aboud. Always call me G. I'll see you tomorrow, and thank you very much.